the effect of the stress of changing the volume or the pressure involves what the gases are doing in the reaction. Um, and, it's, and it's a similar effect. For example, let's say I am looking at the reaction. All right, in this case, I have two moles of gas on the left, one mole of gas on the right, and this reaction is in equilibrium, and I have an equilibrium constant that is products over reactants. If I stress this reaction by changing the pressure, let's say I increase the pressure on this reaction. Recall from our gas chapter that one way to increase the pressure is to decrease the volume. These two are related, so either of these effects would affect this reaction that involve gases, and it would make the reaction want to shift to the side with fewest moles of gases. Your stress on the gas of an increasing pressure or a decreasing volume is to contain the gas in a smaller area or to force it to bounce against the wall more. And because of the relationship with our equilibrium constant, this reaction is going to react to that stress, either one of these stresses, in this case, shifting to the right because there's only one mole of gas on this side. On the left, there are two moles of gas, and so the reaction will shift to the right with the fewer moles. If I have a reaction that has more moles of gas on the product side than the reactant side, for example, then the effect of either increasing the pressure or decreasing the volume, it would have the same effect on this reaction. This reaction would shift to the left. So when you're looking at the stress of increasing pressure or decreasing volume, you can't just memorize it's going to shift to the left or shift to the right. You have to analyze the reaction and see where your moles of gases are, and the reaction will shift to the side with the fewer moles of gas. If you have the opposite stress, let's say you decrease the pressure or increase the volume, this gives the gas more room to play, and so the effect is that you will see a shift to the side with more moles of gas. If you analyze the equilibrium constant in terms of pressures, I won't go through that with you, but you can, you can sort it out on your own, you will see that K stays constant. The numerical value of K does not change in this shift because if you're changing the pressure, then everybody's pressure is going to adjust as it shifts. If you're changing the volume, then everybody's concentration is going to sh adjust as you shift. And so the shift is to get the equilibrium constant back to the same numerical value.